under couches, tables. Go, go, go. You Turn off your flashlight. So I'm almost done with Mace's costume, but the last thing I need is this cutout, but in black fabric. Okay, this is what I got. I outlined it with this marker. That's what I got. I am so proud of this. Like, what? This looks like Winnie the Pooh's honey. Okay, the big kids went to bed, but I have the baby, and we are going to be finishing up his Halloween costume. As much as I don't want to ruin this, I literally have nothing else that's this nice of a yellow. That really worked well. The key was to doing it section by section and not just putting it on, flipping it over. Ow! Ow, I just burnt myself. Ow! It must have just dropped, and I just picked up fresh, hot glue. Oh my gosh, ow! <laughs> okay. I just finished the details of his costume and I just have to show you guys. I bought two little bees, a hat, and these moccasins. My hair and makeup is done. I still actually need to do some stuff to my hair, but the kids are all waking up right now, so I wanna get them ready for their outfits. Oh, that's getting him here. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I got myself ready first. Oh, this looks really cute. I know it. Are we ready to show them our costumes? Yeah. Three, two, I love my hair, so cute. One. I have to stop it right here because we're getting ready and putting our costumes on, and you have to see how cute this little baby is. This little baby. Oh my god, he's so cute. So I got rid of those overalls because it covered the honey. But I had perfect pants that kind of looked like a honey pot. Hi. Hi. I needed to get my reaction of your guys' outfits. Oh, and you guys really look like oh, the Flintstone Oh, you guys are so cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, really takes you it. really oh, look good. like the Fred, and you really look like the Wilma, and he look, really look looks like. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god. It fits him so bad. <laughs> Rah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I Tasha, look at our $15 lights. Uh, Isn't that the stinkiest thing you've ever seen? That cost Tasha $15. I'm gonna decorate each room for the kids, but I want them to go outside. Like, I don't want anyone to know what I'm doing. Uh, so we're kind of just waiting for that. Kiko is putting the baby to bed, and then we'll get this party started. Amen, we'll get this party through. started. <laughs> I've been lost without my pot of honey. I'm gonna show you guys around the house of what we decided to do for trick or treating 2020. So every single room is having a different theme of just fun, now it's fun stuff because... and they have to find the candy in each room. So I'm gonna give them a flashlight which is at the door for this room. We have the spooky bats, and then the green light, and then that movie. And then in here, we did it kind of like a candle theme <laughs> lit up. This is so cool. And then if you go into the kids' room, we have a red light. There's a goodie bag of candy back here, so I hid all the goodie bags. Oh my god, this room is going to be the best. Dude, that's epic sister. And then this is my favorite room. I did it where they have to crawl underneath and this room has a toy and not candy. This is nothing but just set the vibe. And then my room has Christmas lights. Here's your guys' bag. 
Okay, so in each room, there's a different bag of candy that you guys are gonna trick or treat for. So you have to use your flashlights in order to find the bags of trick or the candy bags, okay? Each room is a different room. Shine your light and find this candy bag in this room. Okay, so what do you say? Okay, let's do your first bag. <laughs> the next ones are gonna be hard and I'm not gonna help you, okay? This was your first one. Dark. Where is it? We can't. Trick or treat. No, that's to Maya's basket. Under couches, tables. I can't help you, or you don't get it in order to move on to the next room. Go, go, go. Oh, Tommy's gonna find it. Woo! Woo! I love this, so fun. Where is it? Tamaya's probably like, what is happening? I found it! Where? I can't check the tree! Whoa! Good job, guys! Yeah. 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 Big scoop! Oh. And a big scoop for you too, brother! You gotta keep up with the Ooh. Turn off your flashlight! Oh, Oh. oh my god. Go, go, go. Okay, the last and final room is this one. Ready, set, go. Okay, ticker tree. Everybody found a present or a surprise. It's funny because Mace is a honey pot, but he's eating from me when usually Pooh eats from the honey. I'm so weird. That was truly such a success. Like I think my favorite Halloween yet. It was everything to not load the babes up and I remember last year they had wigs and just all this stuff and I had to transport them naked and get them ready when we got there. I know next year when I have a one year old, it will be a lot easier than me having a newborn. So it's just so crazy how everything worked out. Like as bummed as I am to not go trick or treating, it's just no place to have a newborn out. Like he goes to bed every hour and you know, you trick or treat for over an hour. So. I'm thankful for this year and how everything turned out. I absolutely loved it. We celebrated Halloween a few days earlier, but by the time you're seeing this, it is Halloween. So happy Halloween. This is truly, this feels like Halloween today. I am so stoked for it. We do have a Halloween party to go to on Halloween at Kikwa's mom's house. His sister's birthday is actually the day of Halloween. So um, we'll definitely still be celebrating. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. We are wishing you a happy Halloween and a sun-kissed day. Good night, guys.